Hey guys, so I have installed Windows 8, so I thought I'd just take a quick look at it on my PC that I have over here, which has like a quad core i7, i7 probably like 4 gigahertz, um, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, it has uh, SSD, it has like most of the things, you know, most of the cool things. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Windows Eyes. Yeah, that's the wood stuff. My PC makes it's kind of loud compared to my Mac. Got to have a few extra fans. But overall, I also think it's a little bit more loud than an iMac. But of course, you have, I have some more like powerful gear instead of it. Good to go. Sweet. Yes. I'm signing in. As you see, I don't have a logo, and it's the Metro UI look and feel inside of Windows 8 that you do see. Activate Windows. Uh, probably not. I don't want to do those things. Uh, but this is how the like, menu looks. Uh, it's pretty, you know, different. It really doesn't feel like a normal Windows machine. Which is pretty cool, uh, I think. It's a little bit cool at least. We use go back. Let's see. Yeah, if you go here on the side, if you go to the side, you can see that we get these uh, things. We do have search, which we search for apps, files, or you know settings. You have all of your apps over here. I have all my music, which I don't actually have anything over here. And I'm also kind of like offline right now. But yeah, if you go down to each uh, a corner on the Windows machine, let's see, this is a start page, basically. And if you want to see the normal version of Windows, the one that you're probably kind of used to, familiar to, this is the one. If you go ahead and right click, we can go to personalize and you still have this old menu over here. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Okay, sweet. If we go ahead and see, as you can see down here, we don't have the stop button anymore, you know, but we still have the, the thing here with the desktop. Everything looks the same over there. And uh, let's see, if I go down to. Okay, this is interesting. This is like. You can see, if you go down over here and then go up, you can see all of your programs that you have up and running. Okay, so you can't see them anymore in the taskbar. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know about that. I'm not sure if I like that, that you don't see it live. Like, even on Macs, you see it live, which kind of programs you want to switch to. Now you, want, now you need to go, like, now you need to go over here, like, maybe there's another way to do it. And then like this, I'm pretty sure if that's the best. Oh, cool, what is this? So I can drag things out and then you go full screen. I'm pretty sure if I like this kind of full screen thing. I'm not really sure. But I suppose we all will get used to everything. So we also have the share button. You can share stuff. I have my devices, my second screen, you can duplicate and all those things. It really is a whole new UI that they made. And if you go to help here, you can also see that we have personalization, sweet. We have PC info, which will bring up the old menu. It feels like they haven't really decided yet what kind of UI they could use. Because in some windows it's this, you know, old one, and some others it's uh, this Metro UI look. 
I think it's a little bit weird and confusing and a little bit random, you know, sometimes. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's a quick first hands-on look here uh, on Windows 8. Um, am I going to use it? Probably not. I'm still going to use like the good stuff. The good stuff that um, I'm using and you do know what that is. Hell yes, it's Mac OS X. Um, it's pretty sweet I suppose. Or I'm sure if I like it more than Windows 7. What do you think? Yeah, that's the good question. Bye-bye.